Yo, what's up guys? Austin More Skills Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life. So in this video, I am going to finally pop the question for Molly. I've had this blue feather right here. It feels like forever and I have yet to pop the question. I'm sure she's finally waiting for me to ask her to marry me. So I plan to get engaged in this video. Also too, I wanna to go over some more tips that I've learned. Um, I'm almost done with my first year. I'm still in autumn. Autumn's almost over with. It's the seventh of autumn right now. And I have a lot of interesting things to share since um, I think the last time I did a tips video, it was in the summertime. But I'm going to go ahead and, you know, do my daily routine, milking my cows and shearing my sheep. It looks like my sheep are ready to be sheared again. Wow. That's kind of quick. It feels like the last video I did, I had to shear my sheep. That's like crazy. That's like way more money right there. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get my clippers and I'm just gonna shear my sheepies because they need a haircut. And there we go. Gotta make sure everybody has food. You know, if, if they don't eat, I don't make money. Maybe I'm out of fodder. Am I out of fodder? I think I'm out of fodder. This is a crisis. I have to get some fodder. As you can see, I planted a lot more fodder since the last video. All right, that should be good. Let's go ahead and feed the babies. Now, in case you're new to the channel, I made a money-making video for this game, and I basically went over a bunch of awesome money-making tips that sheep are really, really profitable, and it would be the first animal that I would get if you're new to the game. But, um, yeah, so everybody is fed. That's good. We can um, get into the video. So something interesting that I learned had to do with my trees right here. Um, it looks like none of my trees are actually ready to be harvested. So I'm going to roll some B-roll and show you what I mean. So basically, if you see like a yellow square on your tree as you're shaking it, that means your trees are ready to be harvested. And you can actually shake your trees until it turns blue again. Once it turns blue, there's no more fruit left on your tree. So I thought that was a pretty interesting tip. Shout out to um, one of my viewers that actually pointed that out to me. There is a lot of different uh, visual cues in this game is what I've noticed. There's even a visual cue on the bulletin board. So whenever you have like task on the bulletin board, um, th there'll be like different colored. I think it's like greenish blue that you'll see on the bulletin board. So if you see like greenish blue on the bulletin board, that means there's a task that's ready. So another little interesting thing, when I first played this game, I thought for sure I had to feed my dog. And I was kind of worried that, you know, my dog's not having food because I don't know how to feed my dog. But it turns out Takakuda actually feeds the dog and it's all done automatic. Now I do need to check on my chickens. I did get another chicken since the other video. I have two chickens now. Uh, I have McNugget, which I think is this one right here that I'm holding. Even though they both look the same, so I, I could be wrong. And my other chicken right here, her name is Eggbeth. It's kind of like a play on words for like Elizabeth. So I thought that was kind of cute. All right, it is raining, but I'm gonna call out my horse anyway. I think you can still ride your horse in the rain without it losing, like, affection. Anyway, what we're going to do is I'm going to go over to the sprites and there I'm going to go collect my daily recipe. But someone mentioned in one of my videos that there's actually a record in the sprites house. And what's kind of cool is this is something that you can get, like, early in the game. Like, the first couple days in the game, you can actually get this if you wanted to. But I, I have yet to actually get it. But there is a record in here. So we're going to go ahead and eat this little mushroom. And we're going to start hallucinating. And I guess there's like a pot back here, I guess. I, probably this pot right here. Examine. Yeah, I think, it, I think it's this pot. So I have to interact with this like a hundred times, basically. And then I'll get a record. I might have to speed this up a little bit or maybe cut some bits and pieces out. But if I get some new dialogue, I'll show it on the screen. Now it says there's some sort of liquid sloshing around inside the pot. Okay, now it says, hmm. So I guess we're getting warmer, I guess. Okay, now it just says dot, dot, dot. Now it says, fool who dares disturb my slumber. 
<laughs> so I guess maybe there's something in the pot. Now it says be gone, leave me or else. So I mean, I guess it's kind of threatening me. Now he says, seriously, knock it off. Wow. And now it says, come on, really? Why are you like this? Probably getting pretty close, I would imagine. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay, fine. You win. You can have this. It's a song about a hundred little nature sprites called Another Valley Together. I'll send it to you. I'll send it to your house. Now please, leave me alone and never ever come back. Ooh. Alright, now I gotta get my daily recipe. I almost forgot that. That's kind of like going to the grocery store. And let's say you're going to the grocery store for like milk and you come back with like everything but the milk. I almost did that with my recipe right here. So let's go ahead and get the recipe. Want to learn a new recipe? I found out about this one recently. Learn the recipe for... Uh... I, I can't say the word. Car Carpacio? Carpapacto? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm like the worst at like pronouncing things. But anyway, we got a new recipe. Now another cool thing that I learned that you can do the other day. You can actually push your horse. So if you ever want to like move your horse, I don't know like when you would actually use this. But if your horse is kind of in the way, you can push it. Kind of cool. Also too, I think I found out where this guy lives. You usually see this guy like around the bridge somewhere, but I think I might know where he lives. Because the other day I was playing this game, and if I can't find the B-roll... I'll just kind of show you, but he actually went inside. There's a little cave somewhere in here. Yeah, he went inside this little cave. And if, if I find the B-roll from the other day, I will show it to you. But I saw him go in there. So I'm, I'm assuming, you know, after he's done panhandling, he goes into his little cave right here. And thankfully, it's raining today, so I don't need to water my crops just yet. I probably should check the weather to see if I should water my crops in the afternoon. And then after that, we're going to go find Muffy, and we're going to propose to her. But yeah, I'm hoping, you know, soon we can get these crops growing. My strawberries are almost in. And eventually, I'm going to move these trees around. And someone left a comment, like, hey, you can plant more trees if you put them in the corner. <laughs> and I couldn't help but to, like, chuckle at that, because it's so true. I don't know what I was thinking when I planted them like this. I mean, I, I didn't know at the time. Now this looks like it's ready to be harvested. What is this? Is this like sweet potato or turnip or something? Okay, sweet potato, yeah. All right, let's check the weather and see if we have to actually water them later. Good news, you'll be able to put away that umbrella real soon. Okay, so it looks like that we're gonna have to water our plants pretty soon. Because you can water your plants twice a day to help them grow faster. And I think that's really good to know. Because I've, I've had plants that are kind of withered away. And I'm like, man, they wouldn't have withered away if I would have watered them twice. So I'm guessing like probably the best time to water these would be like later this evening if I'm able to. So let's go ahead and find Muffy. She is right there just walking. So this should be pretty easy. Right in the middle of town, we'll do the proposal. Mm -hmm. Well, hello, sweetheart. Don't do anything to make me worry, you hear me? I want you to promise. It seems like the valet doesn't know about us yet. Are you, are you just ignoring the fact that I have the blue feather? I still get people asking me out on dates. Is that your way of saying I need to hurry up and propose to you because there's a lot of competition? We should go on another date soon, but finding a private date in a place as small as Forgotten Valley might be impossible. Come on, Molly. Oh, wow, that's a blue feather. But no, it couldn't be for me. For you and nobody else. I never ever thought this would actually happen to me. Thank you for proving me wrong, Austin. Can we talk about this in a private? Oh. You're serious. Things are getting serious. Oh, look at that smile on her face. How did you get that? No, really. I only ever saw fakes 
in the city. You know, I have my ways. I can tell you I'd be much happier with that than some off-brand sparkly junk. <laughs> yeah. And having a partner like you would make me happier than anything. Ah. Well, that's that. I've got got work to do, and so do you. Give it your all out there, okay? I'll be cheering you on. Oh, here she comes. She comes back in. She's coming back in. Oh. Ah. She's all warm and fuzzy inside. That just made her day. Is there any new dialogue? Let's talk to her. Hey, once we get married, <laughs> let's get a bigger bed. Oh, with silk sheets. Doesn't that sound wonderful? That must be the uh, engagement dialogue. Okay, so let's go ahead and water the plants back at the farm. And tomorrow is actually uh, the day that Van comes back to town. And I have a lot of things to sell to Van. I also learned some pretty interesting things about Van to actually get better deals. I'm not sure if um, I can actually water these right now or not. I might have to wait a little bit longer. Let's try it. Let's see. If, yeah, I think I have to wait. I'll try again like around 10 p.m. Now Vesta wants a fish, so let's go ahead and do that task for her. I gotta say, fishing this game is like super, super easy. It could be a little more challenging. Like you could probably like fish while you like watch TV or even watch some of my videos. You can just like fish, you know? Like it requires like almost no effort at all. Oh, another thing about the fishing that I learned, when I first started fishing, I was button mashing, and then I started holding the button. But actually, you only need to press the button once. And that's it. Once the, the fish bites it. Any day now. Any day now, fishy. He's still waiting. So indecisive. There we go. But yeah, you just gotta press it once, and that's it. They couldn't get any more chill, I guess you could say. <laughs> All right, we got a large fish. I think Vesta would like a large one. I mean, she didn't specify if she wanted large, small, or medium, so I guess large works. It's her lucky day. Thankfully, Vesta is pretty easy to find. She never leaves the farm. She's like right over there. Do, 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 do. Now, before I give this to Vesta, I did notice, um, I did learn something interesting about these, like, wild animals that you see right here. So, these wild animals actually mean something. Now, I don't know, like, a whole lot of information about them, but I've heard rumors that, like, if you see the Chihuahua by, like, the mines, that means you're, you have better luck and you can... It like increases your chances of finding more rare valuables at the mines. I'm not too sure what this raccoon means. This is the first time that I've seen the raccoon. But I do know that about the chihuahua. There's also a turtle too. Once I learn more about it, I'll probably make a video about it. So be on the lookout for that. Also, once I finish my first year, in this game, I'm gonna have like a crop guide for chapter one. So be on the lookout for that too. Now let's give uh, Vesta her fish. I'm here about your request. Apparently I already had a fish in my inventory. Hey, thanks, just what I was looking for. A hard worker like you deserves a reward. I hope you like it. I totally forgot what the reward is. Oh yeah, like a forgeable. Now I'm gonna show you another little interesting detail for the game. Maybe, if I have enough time. It's in Chris's house. And I don't know if they're going to bed. If they're going to bed, they're probably gonna lock me out. Oh, I guess I'm inside. But uh, over here, if you interact with this, there's actually a recipe. Uh, on the counter a pretty modern kitchen Chris must be responsible for the decor or maybe it's not on the counter it's probably on the refrigerator 
Yeah, it says right here, try the salad recommended by the pros everywhere. Toss an egg, a tomato, and a green uh, tomato together for nutritious perfection. So, I mean, I, I literally just found that out like the other day. Surprisingly, it, it took me long enough, but I thought that was kind of interesting. All right, it is getting pretty late, so let's head back to the house and call my horse. And I need to milk my cow again. And I'm going to check on the crops, see if I can water them yet or not. If I can't water them, I'll just go back to bed. But, um, yeah. It's getting super late. I stayed up way late this today. Go ahead and milk Moo Moo. Yes. Let's see how fast I can water everything. There we go, I can water them again. Another thing I'm going to do after I water everything, I have to eat before bed. Because I did hear, I haven't like totally tested this out yet, but it makes sense. But um, your fullness level determines how much stamina and energy you have. So like in other words, if you're more full, you'll lose less energy and stamina as you do your activities. So if you're hungry, it'll take more energy and stamina to do what you're trying to do. All right, let's go ahead and water everything. Thankfully, I got the copper watering can, so it's not gonna take too long to do all this. It's a brand new day, day eight. Oh boy, we're getting a cutscene. Heading somewhere out, Austin? Oh, look who it is. It's my fiance. Hello there, you look like you're doing well. Gavin's cleaning the cafe, so he asked me to step out for a bit. Uh-huh. I offered to help, but he said he'd be fine. Not that I mind too much. And now I've got some free time to spend however I like. So Austin, how's your schedule looking? Want to go on a date? I mean, you know, I'm a, I'm a little busy today. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> For you, Molly, I'm free anytime. Let's go. Oh really? Great. Then let's get going. Oh, where are we going? Out in the forest? Or are we taking a hike? I never get used to the clear air out here. It's so refreshing. Yeah. Hey, I know we're going to be married soon, but it still doesn't seem real. I keep thinking I'm going to wake up any second. Getting ready to spend the rest of my life with you feels like packing my bags and moving up to heaven. I put that blue feather he gave me in a nice face in my room. Aww, she's like cherishing it. On days when I can't see you, I just keep looking at it. <laughs> wow, that's so sweet. And every time I hope I'll get to see you in the next day. Aww. Let's walk a little further. Okay. That reminds me of an old friend from my office days. Sent me a letter a while ago. I guess they bought a new place. They sent their address and a photo with their partner looking as happy as they can be. Aww. Here we are. I hadn't heard a peep since I went to their wedding, so it sort of took me by surprise. <laughs> Let's make everyone jealous for Blue Feather. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I'm gonna select I can't wait until we move in together, too. Oh yes, we'll be happier than anyone else in the world. How could we not? We have each other, after all. It's like the cutest thing ever. Oh, but there's so much to be done. If we're going to be living together, I'll need new clothes, not to mention new furniture. Hopefully I'll still get my man cave. 
We could have the most adorable matching tableware set, too. You'll help me pick it out, won't you? I mean, I was gonna let you handle that, but sure. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Ah. This day could not get any better because Van is here now and I have a ton of stuff I need to sell. Because I don't use my shipping bin and I just wait for Van. Yes, come peruse my wares at your leisure. I am certain I have all that you need. Uh-huh. Dang, that was like a long event. Like that event costed me like four hours. Actually longer than that, it was like five hours. I didn't get a chance to milk my cow. That's all right. It, it was worth it. Gotta make time for your loved ones. So before we sell things to Van, you know, I still need to do my dailies. So we'll let the animals outside. We're gonna milk Moo Moo. Give her a nice brush. <laughs> brush the sheep. Brush the sheep's brother. And the horse. Oh, what's this? My strawberries ready? Sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and water the crops. Like for a game that's supposed to be really relaxing, I do find myself juggling so many different things at once. Squeezing every little ounce of time I have into making the days count. Let's um, I need to check my storage. Once I check my storage, we'll go see Van. Okay, I'm probably gonna like keep my forgeables. Yeah, I don't like selling the forgeables because I don't know when they're gonna come in handy, you know? And you can only get your forgeables once a season. So like, let's say I move into chapter two and I need a certain forgeable for something and I'll have to wait until that season again to get that forgeable. So I might as well like hold on to it just in case I might need it. Now something interesting I learned about Van, shout out to whoever commented this on one of my videos, but the higher your relationship is with Van, the, it increases the chance of getting better haggles, like for your haggle to actually be more successful. So, um, which kind of makes sense. All right, let's go ahead and sell our quality wool. We'll sell our seeds. I have so many grape seeds. So many apple seeds. All right. Uh, I think that's good. Let's see how much we make. 14 grand, almost 15 grand. All right, I'm gonna say change my mind. I'm gonna try to get a really good haggle. Now, somebody left a really good tip on my videos and basically like to make things easier for like your haggle, put everything in your storage that you're not selling to Van and it's gonna make things a lot easier to like search for everything. That way it's less time consuming. All right, let's see if we can get a haggle. That is unfortunate. Last time I tried doing this, it took me like five attempts. Okay, let's try that. No much in the mind. Come on, Van. I want to make a bunch of monies. I need to get rich. I'm going to be married soon. I have a family to support. There we go. All right. It's gonna offer me 15,845, no engine line. It's unfortunate. I definitely need to work on my friendship with Van because doing this like five or 10 times is really time consuming. Oh man, I forgot to put the wool in there. Oh, we'll see if it gives it to me. Oh yeah, that's like an extra 2K. Nice. Yeah, we'll, we'll sell it. And then we'll go ahead and sell the wool. Separate. All right, sounds good to me. So now we're up to 38,000. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Van has some new products in stock, so we need to check his stock. Oh, he's got like an autumn outfit. 
I should probably buy that, just so I'll have it. Yeah, you got yourself a deal. 1k is not too bad for an outfit. Um, I should probably upgrade all my tools, cause just cause I have the money for it right now. Even though I don't know if there's like much difference between like my copper clippers and the other clippers, but I guess we can find out. Let's go ahead and buy all the tools, since we have enough, more than enough money for it. Okay, we'll get the milker. You got yourself a deal. Copper sickle, we'll get one of those. Last but not least, we'll get the copper hoe. Oh, look at all these flowers over here. So many flowers. They are a sage soil flower. Yeah, another quick tip to like pick things up faster. All you gotta do is have your, um, the item that you're picking up in your hands and it'll pick it up faster in a way. I'm not sure if it's exactly faster or not, but um, it makes it a lot easier because you don't have to like sort through them. Wake up horse. And that's how I wake up my horse, I just call it. Is Van going to see Luma's grandma or something? Like, wh where is he even going? I'm gonna follow him. Is this where he goes, like, after work? Because usually I thought he goes up the hill. But may maybe not. Is he actually going inside? No way. What? I've never seen that. Holy crap, he's in here. What, what are you doing in, in Luma's house? Are you gonna kick it with Luma's grandma? Or you just came to see the kitties? Do you have business here as well? <laughs> well what, what kind of business? What kind of business are you talking about? The food at the harvest was rather disappointing this time. I hope it improves next year. You know what, since Van is here and he's not uh, working, now might be a good time to try to increase my relationship with him. Yeah, I don't think I have anything he would want. If you guys know what Van likes, let me know down below. Cause I really need to build up my friendship with him so I can get better deals. Are we, are we all just, are we all three here just having a party? Welcome, dear. Please make yourself at home. You seem to have gotten the hang of raising crops. All right. It is getting a little late, though. Everybody stays up late in this game, it seems like. You know what? I kind of wish. Now, don't tell Muffy this, but... Like, if Flora was a bachelorette, I would probably go for her. I, I don't know why she's not a bachelorette. She, she would make a good bachelorette. For sure. Catching a leaf as it falls is kind of difficult, don't you think? I still haven't managed to grab any. All right, let's let everybody inside. Oh, I need to milk the cow again. There we go. Oh no, everybody's food bin's empty. I'm gonna need to get some more fodder in here. There we are, all good. Let's go ahead and call the animals back into the barn. And we need to check on the chickens. Wait, I think, or maybe I check on them this morning. Pick up. Aha, uh -huh, we got some eggs. Yeah, I really need to work on egg buffs. Uh, affection. Mick Nugget like loves me, but egg buff, like she she basically hates me. And we'll go ahead and water the crops one last time. Oh, you know what? I still didn't really get to try out my tools really. So let's try out the tools real quick. So this is my new hoe. Okay, so it's kind of like the same as the copper watering can. It does like three more. All right, cool. I'm not too sure there's any difference between like the copper milker and the regular milker and the copper clippers and the regular. But yeah. There we go. And am I gonna beat it before midnight? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more Story of the Seasons, A Wonderful Life, 
don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I will be uploading more content for this game. And uh, yeah, that's about it.